So with it being massive news that Marino has got appointed at Fenerbahce, today we're going to go over three of the tactics he has used somewhat recently to decide which one he might use at Fenerbahce. If you do enjoy the tactics on this channel, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, definitely. And if you like live streams, we are now back live. You can see that in the bottom corner. Come over and get involved. It's the best vibes on Twitch. You'll absolutely love it. Let's get into the test and phase, starting with United. Start things off, it is going to be Manchester United, but we did use the 4-2-3-1. And as you can see, we enjoyed a fantastic Premier League season only losing two games here against Tottenham and Chelsea, which both were quite close results. Anyway, Marcus Rashford and Hoyland come first and second in the top goal scorer. Rashford, Garnacho, and Bruno, three players in the average rating there. Bruno Fernandes and Garnacho always coming in with the assist in first and joint second with Liverpool rival Luis Diaz. Now, when it comes to clean sheets, Onana is going to finish in second place with one behind David Raya in goal. And Marcus Rashford, which is a bit of a surprise, picks up the most player of the matches out of anybody in the league. Now, going over to the team stats, we are going to dominate quite convincingly in the goal scoring category. 105 to be exact, outscoring the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, them sort of teams right there. The most shots over 709 as well, and the fewest conceded. So, defensively, we were really, really good. Obviously, one behind on the clean sheets. A really strong sort of display in the Premier League, which I'm pretty sure can be backed up in the Date Hub. As you can see, conceding way under a goal a game, scoring way above 2.5 a game at 2.76, over 18.6 six shots a game, an 88% pass completion, and a very tidy tackle win ratio. That is a very, very strong season. But if that's not enough for you, of course, we also go over and win the Carabao Cup over City in 3-2 fashion. As for the FA Cup and the Champions League, not the best of the best in the first season, but for a base 4-2-3-1 that isn't a Gagan press, for example, it done very well. And for a Mourinho tactic, we were not shy when it comes to scoring goals. It is against a very weak team in Sheffield here, but I thought I'd include it so you can see some of the goals, what you can expect. We actually go out and get seven here which is a really really strong goal scoring game and as you can see it can be very direct getting it in from the right hand side set pieces obviously are going to be a key and have that mason mount getting his money's worth in there a beautiful finish as rashford plays it over the top into garnacho into the middle into rasmus hoyland it's direct it's beautiful it works every single time as rafael varan does score a set piece right there and again set piece after set piece be sure to download those over from the patreon because you're not going to miss out i mean you can see how good they are from this game alone absolute dominance they do find a way to get a goal here but to be honest it means absolutely nothing it was a mistake from the back they can have one did use the 4 3 one with manchester united so we are going to talk through that tactic now but do stick around because we are going to go over the three backs as well if you are enjoying be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you personally want to get over 13 exclusive perks to this channel including access to all three of these tactics at a simple download you want them early you want the rebuild files and the rebuild tactics we produce access to a 300 pound giveaway you can come over and join the patreon in the description where you can be partnered with over 4,000 people. 4,000 people. Come over and get involved because trust me, you don't want to miss out. But let's go through and talk through the Mourinho 4 2 3 1, which obviously he played sort of back in the day, but maybe he's going to have to be forced back to this resort to play a bit more of a consistent sort of basis when it comes to football. So the goalkeeper is going to be a sweeper keeper set to defend. Nice and simple. He doesn't really like to make many sort of risks when it comes to the goalkeeping area. So that is why he's going to be on defend. A wing back on the right is going to be a full back indeed on defend, on stay wider, and of course, obviously tackle harder. Again, Mourinho. Mourinho does sometimes let his fullbacks go forward, but very, very rarely. I don't think it's going to happen at Fenerbahce, to be honest. Besides, maybe if Ferdi Kagioglu does decide to stay, that potentially could happen. Happy could happen because he's a very, very good fullback. On the left, we are going to have a wingback on support, simply on the default. So on the left, I have kept that in mind, but maybe there might be a potential for him to go slightly further forwards, which is why we have done that in the tactic. On the left centre back, we've got a central defender, simply set to defend on the default. And next to him is going to be another ball play defender. Again, simply set on to the default instruction. So it is quite a reserve back for the left back by far the most attacking option out of the four which is why we were so good when it comes to the defensive side of the game. In midfield, we are going to have a ball and midfield player on support, simply set to the default. If there's one thing we know about Mourinho's system, it doesn't exactly, there's not a lot going on in terms of what players are really doing. They're not really anything special. We're not playing any sort of, you know, false nine malarkey, all of this going on. So it is going to be a nice, simple 4 2 3 1 that might look basic on the eye, but does grind out the results and get the job done. Next to him is going to be a register on support with the addition of tackle harder. So again, a sort of, Balance two in DM, you know, nothing too crazy. No, you know, attack and volantes or anything like that. Just enough to get the job done and really grind out these results. The left wing is going to be an inside forward on attack. 
on sit narrower and roam from position. Now, I have got it on this side more importantly than the right because obviously the wing back is going to be getting further forward. So I want him to be permanently sat narrower to obviously avoid any sort of collision on that left hand side. On the right, we have not got sit narrower because again, the fullback on the right is not going to be moving forwards. But we have got him on roam from position and he's going to be set to a winger on attack. In the midfield, we've gone with an advanced playmaker set to attack on roam from position and of course, tackle harder and lastly the cherry on top you could argue this role but purely to get some more performance out of the game we have gone with the advanced forward on attack on roam from position and tackle harder to the team instructions so all based off a custom fluid counter attack on the attacking the attacking mentality we are going to be seeing this set too fairly wide indeed we're going to pass into space we're going to overlap left as we are really going to push that left back to get forwards and get stuck into the game again if you are playing with a better right back than left back just flip the team around and you will be completely fine the tempo is going to be set to much higher or very high we are going to take the press to them and of course it is Mourinho we love a counter attack so we are going to look to run at the back line now going over to in transition we are going to regroup when we have lost the ball again not Typically, oh, you are going to see a Mourinho team press, 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 press. Maybe that will change with a new sort of coaching position. Fenerbahce are going to want to see results, which is why I think maybe there can be a world he reverts back to a 4-2-3-1, despite being known as the free-back coach. I think there is a world that, that can happen. We are also going to hit counter-attack when it's been won, because again, we are a very strong counter-attacking team, so we sort of have to do that. And lastly, in terms of our possession, things are going to change from this. We are actually going to deploy the mid-block line of engagement, the standard defensive line, the get stuck in and the much more often when it comes to the trigger press now let's go through some of the free backs because i know a lot of you boys and girls back home love a cheeky free back we've got two for you today so don't say i don't give you anything let's get into it we're going to start with the conference league final with Fenerbahce all the way to the final here we do go one nil down to aston villa and they get off to a flyer of a start there but we bounce back three minutes after with 30 back inside into tadic into fred and a bit more of a bit of a tiki taka goal there as it does come off concert unfortunately for him in a big game like this they do then make it 2-1 to be fair to them with Ollie Watkins with a very tight angle doing well there but of course we bounce back 49 minutes on the clock 30 down the left hand side cuts back into Ryan Kent who enjoyed a really good season and we go on to win it in the 90th minute good pass and play over the top into Mert into the middle big up the Ryan Kent we also do win the Turkish Super League again only losing two games against two of the strongest teams in the division so it is completely acceptable a very very strong division there Edin Dzeko with 25 goals three players in the average rating and two in the assists Fred enjoying a really good season with 18 assists on this division we also did keep the most clean sheets as well and as you can see we are really going to be taking over Turkish football most clean sheets fewest conceded most dribbles being made the best pass completion which is quite surprising considering we are a Mourinho based team and we are taking quite a fair few risks fewer shots against at 250 the most shots coming in for Fenerbahce the most goals at 103 and the most points per game it's really really strong stuff the data hub again is going to paint this picture even better at 0.45 conceded per game 2.71 goals scored a game and 89.94 nearly a 90% pass completion and ripping over 18 shots a game that in itself is a crazy season but we actually go on to win the quadruple the turkish cup 4-1 in the final. That means we must have scored at least three, obviously, in extra time. A very strong final there. And the Super Cup, we win just over Galatasaray with Edin Dzeko scoring two in the first competitive game of the whole season. A really strong performance. What a team. Now, this is going to be the Mourinho 3-5-2 Fenerbahce. Again, he could genuinely use any of these tactics I'm going to show you today. I out with the. I personally quite like a three-back, so I hope he does. But it depends on how he feels pressure to use a 4-2-3-1 or a four-back system. The goalkeeper Keeper does remain the same on the right we are gonna have a wide center back on defend on close down more and also tackle harder in the middle a central defender set to defend simply on the default and on the left we're gonna go for ball playing defender on defend on dribble more stay wider tackle harder and mark tighter so again there is a lot going on with this tactic you'll see as we go through the team it is tailored to sort of do different different things sorry on either side of the field but very important, you can stick with this if you can, because it does work really, really well. The left back is going to be set to support on cross more often, cross aim centre, run wide, stay wider, and also tackle harder. In the midfield, we've got a deep lying playmaker set to defend, simply on tackle harder. The perfect role for this team, so I want to sit deep, sit deep, play balls over the top, spread it long, as you saw in the highlights. Sometimes we are playing this lovely short pass on football, he gets the ball, bang, over the top, 
jobs are good at. And on the right, we are going to go over wing back on support, on pass at shorter, cross more often, cross aim centre, run wides and stay wider alongside of tackle harder. Going up to the midfield, we are going to have a box to box, a very, very crucial role in this team on support, on tackle harder and get further forwards. And next to him, we are going with the central midfield player on attack, on take more risks, dribble more, run from position, move into the channels and tackle harder. By far the most attacking midfield player we have. And if you do wish to use a Mazala, you could also do that if you need to. The two strikers are going to consist of a deep lying forwards. Very important in a two up front system, especially a free back on support and tackle harder. And next to him is going to be the advanced forward simply set to attack on tackle harder making the team look a little bit like this but over to the team instructions of course again off the custom fluid attack we are going to go with a positive on this occasion a positive mentality not attacking we are going to go all the way up to fairly wide we're going to pass into space while playing out from the back no focus directly on either overlap options because they get forward anyway in this system they are going to be providing the width slightly shorter with a directness match with a slightly higher tempo with this occasion being floated crosses and run at defense. I did opt for floated crosses because it seemed to work a little bit better with two players up top. And obviously in the Fenerbahce team, you've got Edin Dzeko, so make sure you're using him. In transition, we are going to be using regroup again alongside of counter. And on this occasion, playing to the center backs instead of everyone because we have got three center backs. We may as well be sensible and utilize them. And lastly, out of possession, we are going to go with a higher defensive line with the mid block line of engagement. We are going to have this set to more often. We're providing short goal for distribution we're going to set up a defensive line of drop off more and a pressing trap to trap outside now to the 3-4-2-1 we did test with his former team real madrid with this 3-4-2-1 just to clarify that again only losing one game against real sociedad so that means out of three seasons with different teams we've only lost a total of five games that is absolutely incredible vinicius 27 goals bellingham mendy diaz first second third in the average rating we've got carver hole in the most assists in third place courtois picks up the most clean sheets Team stat-wise, most goals, most points, most shots, fewer shots against, most dribbles, fewer conceded, most clean sheets. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We keep getting every single award going in our favour. We absolutely love it. Data hub-wise, we are going to be looking at a staggering 2.24 goals per game, which is not too bad considering we are in a lot harder division now. 0.32 conceded, which is really the bread and butter of this tactic. By far the most offensive one out of the three, I will say that. Over 15 shots a game, nearly 16, a good pass completion, and a solid attack win ratio you're not going to score as many with this tactic but as you can see you are going to be a lot 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 stronger defensively not that the others aren't good at defending but this one is literally a brick wall tactic was so good we actually had quite an easy champions league final something you don't usually say too often is bellingham goes through from a direct ball to make it one nil and a little mistake here from the psg backline as they are toying with it vinicius pouncers will take the champions league it's not all we won you know we like to do quadruples on this channel we also are going to win the spanish cup against barcelona in 2-1 fashion in extra time and also the spanish super cup we win in 3-2 fashion over barcelona two very very close cups but it is going to complete a very big quadruple Thank you very much. This, of course, is going to be the Mourinho 3421. Again, if you are enjoying still, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to make your life easier, you can come over to the Patreon and get all of these in one simple download and a variety of other perks. Definitely go and check that out. But let's go through and talk about the Mourinho 3421. So it is going to be set up somewhat similar to the 352, but it has got its key differences. It's a little bit more defensive, in my opinion, and of course, features a bit more of a narrow system in terms of we also getting shadow strikers involved. So it is going to be a goalkeeper on this occasion, simply set to defend the right back is going to be or the right center back is going to be a central defender on defend on stay wider and tackle harder and on the left hand side of the center backs it is going to be exactly the same now in the middle of the center backs we are going to use a central defender set to cover the left back is going to be a wing back on this occasion on automatic and on the right and left are going to be the same so i'll mention it once to save you time back home a wing back on automatic on cross more often cross aim center run wide get further forwards and of course stay wider we didn't have a roaming playmaker set to support simply on tackle harder Harder. and next to him that deep line playmaker we simply couldn't get rid of but on defend on tackle harder we then go with a shadow striker on the right simply set to the default and we're going to match that again simply on a default on the left 
No, I've not forgotten any instructions. They have four by the default, which exactly makes them what I want them to be doing. Dribbling more, taking risks, getting forwards, and moving into the channels. You don't need any more from your Shadow Striker. And lastly, the Advanced Forward comes in simply on the default. Now, team instructions, again, based off the Fluid Counter. Again, set to the positive. We are going to be going all the way down on this occasion to fairly narrow. We're going to pass into space with slightly shorter passing directness, match with a slightly higher tempo. We're going to run at defense, and we are actually going to opt for mixed crosses on this occasion. In transition, it's going to be nice and simple. We are actually going to have a bit more of a pressing system with this free back. So for those of you that do want to play that way, you can do it with this tactic. Counter press, counter, play to the center backs, and roll the ball out. So quite risk-free when it comes to the distribution. And lastly, out of possession, we are going to go with the standard defensive line. We're going to deploy a mid-block line of engagement more often and trap inside when it comes to that press and trap. And obviously, that makes the tactic look a little bit like this. But that's going to give you boys and girls back home free variants of Mourinho's tactics. He could honestly use any of these. I honestly do think he will use a free back, although I think he might revert to a full back if results don't go his way. Let me know in the comments right now a rating out of 10 of his appointment at Fenerbahce. Please do smash the like button below because that means the absolute world. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. And do stop by for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the Fenerbahce rebuild goes big.